It perhaps is, it's one of the very few programs where institutions such as ourselves, a large bank, gets involved with the roots of our communities, and in some cases gets involved with the people who work in some of the most disadvantaged and oppressed communities in the region. And of those, we have several. If you look at the islands in which we operate, uh, there are several instances where uh, difficulties of social difficulties, difficulties with the provision of health services, difficulties with respect to the provision of justice, difficulties with, pres with respect to the provision of education, all of these are essential problems that many members of our communities face on a day daily basis. And the Unsung Heroes program is, it has been designed to basically determine who are the people who are helping these disadvantaged folks and who are the people who turn out to be heroes to those communities and who are the people who day in day out work without any fanfare, sometimes with very limited financial budgets, sometimes indeed with no financial budgets, to do the work to promote the welfare of people who are not as well off as we might think they are. So the Unsung Heroes program has been very dear to us. It allows us to involve members of our staff in the 17 countries in which we operate in the region to get involved with their communities, to get involved with sometimes customers who are really unbankable because of their status in society, their, their place on the economic ladder. But we've been happy to do this. And I think that when you see the coffee book, you will see why uh, our efforts have in fact been fruitful why, in fact, I think that the work that we have done as First Caribbean, the CIBC First Caribbean, is going to be very important to the evolution of our societies in this Caribbean region. There we had about 17 candidates on this occasion, came from 13 countries, and I'd like for the media to tell you the criteria that we use to select the panelists. First of all, we look at the level of sacrifice. What sacrifice have these people made in order to serve their communities? Then we look at the impact on the community. Is this an isolated incident? Is it one person helping his or her nephew or great aunt, etc.? No. It is what impact it has had on a community as a whole. Then we look at the scope of the work. It should not be a narrow scope of the work. It should be a work that has some social significance. And then we look at the length of time, because sometimes there are one-shot experiences. There's a crisis, and someone does something laudable. No, and that's, that's not the kind of thing we look for. Look a sustained effort by these persons in the communities in which they love and labor. And then we look to see whether these persons have had any media recognition or not. Because we don't want to be repeating, I certainly the bank will not want to be doing what other, others have done. So we wish to find people to dig out these diamonds, as it were, uh, which have not been uh, 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 dug up before, and who certainly have not been burnished in the public uh, the domain. We would like to find these people who have not had media recognition. And that said, with those uh, criteria, I said there were 17 candidates from 13 countries. There were nine ladies among them. And actually, there's one couple that actually worked very hard as a couple to, uh, 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 to solve some of the deep social programs that we, that we find in our country. It is really a marvelous, it's a marvelous idea, brilliantly executed over the last 10 years. I wish to congratulate you on it. And my congratulations uh, must be made warm up by your uh, affirmation that the bank is going to continue this particular program because there is no shortage of heroes in the Caribbean. And from time to time, we may say that the quality of the applications may vary, but then suddenly there comes up some people who are absolutely brilliant who you say, how these people have not been recognized over the years. So we are. As a panel, let me thank the panel for their participation. We are adding that this is a really superb program. I think it does the Caribbean good, it does the bank good, I think, to be associated with the kind of effort that recognizes people who go about their daily tasks without seeking no recognition, but do such wonderful things in our society. So I'd like to congratulate CABC, uh, CIBC, uh, First Caribbean on this particular program and thank you for your uh, affirmation that the program will uh, continue. Former prison inmate sits at a dinner table 
with a family who has invited him for his first meal after he comes out of the jail. The family starts to eat, but the new guest doesn't. And after a while, the host asks him what's wrong. He said, Mr. Watts, I have never eaten with a knife and fork in my life. Another situation, a vocational school for wayward boys. One student is particularly disruptive. After probing, it is discovered he is consumed by anger. Anger born out of a devastating experience. One Christmas day, he witnessed his father murder his mother. All across the region, these special people who perform these selfless acts of caring for their fellow man dramatically change lives. From the group who prevented an industrial uh, plant from being set up in a very environmentally sensitive area to the nurse who sits and holds the hands of the dead. I believe, like Jones does, that the time has come to make this Korean trauma because I think people respond to other people and we don't hear enough of good news. Now it gives me added pleasure to introduce to you the storytellers of Barbados and by extension the region. A product that in itself is a, a, a narrative of some of the best kept secrets of our region. The selfless service of so many of our Caribbean brothers and sisters whose toils were directed, directed only at making life a better experience for their fellow human beings without any fanfare, without any great glory, and wanting no reward other than regaling us with the thought that there is good in the world. And you know we journalists tend to look sometimes for what's not so good in the world. So we are assailed on a daily basis and exploited in a way by the, the political, economic, the poverty, and all the ills of society. I commend to you a product that should inspire you to believe that there is a lot of good in the world and a lot of it coming from the Caribbean.